Hey everyone, in this video we'll be learning about .NET MAUI collection view. So we'll be making a very basic collection view like this. So let's get started with the video. So we know that our application starts from the main page. Okay, so here you can see this is the only thing that we really need for the collection view to just show a list of strings. If you don't believe me, then I'll just run the application and show it to you. Uh, this is the only code that we really need for showing the list of strings. So here you can see the application is started. So we'll just see the list of strings. So here you can see apple, ball, cat and dog. That's it. So this is just a basic collection view but uh, if you want to make more robust uh, collection view then what i'm going to do is uh, i'll just comment this code out and we actually don't need that code so what we'll do is like we'll just uh, write, type code collection view dot item layout is one property that we'll be uh, using and collection view dot item um, template okay so these are the two things that we'll be playing around with so here item template has data template inside it so this is where the uh, main actual code lies so here you can just design of your own how your uh, data should look like so grid uh, we'll just add it and we'll just use a label as of now and give something uh, some text after some uh, after adding the value so that is it so now mm, we have successfully created the collection view with the item template and the collection uh, item yeah, item template with the data template as a label so give a text color as black so you can design of your own as you like so what our now data uh, like uh, our objective is that uh, we need to attach this collection view with the data so in order to do that we'll just give a x name for the uh, collection view as my uh collection view okay so now we'll just uh, collection view and we now add the data uh to this collection view so in order to do that we'll just add it in this dot cs and you can use mbbm approach to public class my uh like uh, just item okay so i uh, will just add public string a string as a name name for an item and as any item it might be your home uh, name or address okay you can just add a address in the after that too but i don't want to make a little bigger code so now we'll just create a list because we were just showing the list of items in that collection view so public um, list of list of uh, this item so this is just an object so this object we are going to make a make a list of items so we can just keep this way okay so now uh, we have created uh, sorry i'll just copy it okay so now uh, we are going to add this uh, list of item with uh, new uh, objects so that object uh, whose name is uh, something like apple and then uh, that is it so you here uh, you can just uh, put a, a comma and then add another uh, objects to just uh, copy this paste it paste it paste it so apple one apple two apple three apple four okay so here uh, that that's all now if you have added some uh, want to add some address to then you can just uh, create a new public property as address and then uh, by giving here the comma then you can add those things and bind it to the uh, collection view so now our next objective is uh, go to the main page uh, here we have added uh, um, this collection view x name then uh, what we are going to do is we are going to give item source there you can just see the item source equals to uh, the items list that we have created uh, so i'll just copy it i'll just paste it over here then uh, that is it so what we can now do is we'll just copy this uh, uh, th this is how the binding works uh, using the dot cs now we can just use this name <coughs> over here in the main page dot xaml and bind it uh with the help of uh, this name okay so the name that uh, we have used as a public property that is to be used with this uh, collection view that's all so here see uh, we got our uh, resulting output so here uh, we can just uh, make uh, some uh, uh 
grid item layout okay so there are two item layout they are linear item layout as well as grid layout item layout so uh, orientation as vertical because we want a what uh, orientation as a vertical too and uh, if we make as span as two just see this okay so there's uh, two item where uh, the orange here two item where arrange, arrange there okay so you can just play around with those things and here <coughs> I'll just make it to one because we just want a list and uh, background color as uh, light gray. So here, uh, so let's wait. I think uh, that was not updated because of uh, height property. So that is it. So these are the big uh, list items that we can see over here. So that's all for this tutorial now. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Keep in touch for our next tutorials.